I'm here to assist you with all your test equipment needs, from multimeters and test weights to patient simulators and x-ray analyzers. If you need guidance or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write me at jbarber at bcgroupinternational.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a electrical safety per NFPA 99. And to help me, I'm gonna use the BC Group SA2600 and we're gonna go ahead and do an auto sequence. This is a pre-programmed auto sequence. It's gonna be so easy. So first step to any electrical safety is to check your power cord. Make sure that we have a medical grade power cord indicated by the green dot. Then what we're going to do is check the IEC to make sure we have a snug and tight fit. It's good, very good. Let's go ahead and lay that cable over there. So. The first step is in the auto sequence to press the button and we have custom or fixed. Let's go to fixed and you can see one of the options right here says NFPA 99 generic. Let's go ahead and touch it and it says that we are ready to go ahead and start. We do that by pressing the over arrow. Here's where you can input all the identifying information for the device. Then we proceed to test. The first thing that it wants you to do is to zero your leads. It's a pretty important step because your leads do have an inherent amount of resistance. You see, as soon as I click it up, it will show you whether or not this lead right here is good or bad. And you can see it's pretty stable. So we're going to go ahead and zero the leads. So now we go ahead and disconnect the clamp. I'm going to stow the banana plug. And now we are going to go ahead and connect our device over here on the grounding lug on the back of the device. After we've zeroed the leads, the next thing you do is press the over arrow and that's gonna tell you to connect the device to the electrical safety meter as is shown in the little diagram. That means that we're gonna plug in our receptacle, make sure that our gator clip is still plugged into the back of the machine. We're gonna press the yellow arrow and now it's gonna go into measuring the mains. Once it's done with the mains, it's gonna go into resistance. We're gonna flex the power cable at both ends. And if it passes, it'll go on into the next test, which it tells you to turn on the device under test. So we're gonna boot up our device. We're gonna hit continue. It's gonna measure device current. Now I have a timer built into mine that is customizable. My timer is set for 30 seconds. That's because after I boot up a device, sometimes there's heating elements and stuff that need to be activated by the device. So that gives me time for those heating elements. It also gives me time to test motors. You can see it's clicking down. Once my timer expires, it'll take a current measurement. There we go, 0.25 amps. Excellent. And then it's going to pop into leakage and it's going to automatically test all the leakage levels. Next step, it's going to tell you to turn off the device. When we hit continue, and it's going to go ahead and repeat those measurements. When the device is done, you can see that it gives you a nice little readout showing you all the different results. And if there is a problem, this color will change. It'll be red if it doesn't pass. You can see here, we touch, we see our individual results. This device is good to go. Press the yellow arrow and you're back at the main screen, ready to test your next device. So folks, that's it with the SA2600. Easy to use, very user-friendly, very customizable. I didn't go into any of the customizations. This one here is currently set up for me and how I like to do things. All the results are saved. You can interface with BC Connect through the My BC mobile app. Electrical safeties don't need to be complex and they can be uniform between all your technicians using automated sequences with devices like the SA2600. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos.